Amphibols are also ionophilicates like pyroxenes. However, amphibols have a double chain structure extending in the direction of C axis or vertical axis, whereas pyroxenes are single chain structures. The name is derived from Greek amphibolos, meaning ambiguous, which refers to the great variety of compositions and appearances shown by the mineral. This ambiguity from variety is even more evident when we see its chemical composition, which is quite complex, being X728, SiO4O11 whole twice, OH whole twice, which makes their silicon to oxygen ratio 4 is to 11. X may be calcium, sodium, magnesium, iron, or aluminium. Also, silicon in some of the tetrahedral may be replaced by aluminium. Amphiboles always have an hydroxyl or OH group present with them, to the extent that there is an OH group per 11 oxygen atoms. Since amphibole is double changed, the extension causes the cleavage angle in amphiboles to be greater than that of pyroxenes to about 20 degrees. Amphiboles have the same hardness and specific gravity as that of pyroxenes. And similar to pyroxenes, amphiboles can also crystallize in either orthorhombic, monoclinic or triclinic crystal system. Let us also see some of the minerals of amphibole family. Anthophyllite is a type of orthorhombic amphibole and in general, these orthorhombic amphiboles are virtually unknown in igneous rocks, although they occur in great quantities in a variety of metamorphic and metasomatic rocks like at Schiff and Knife. Magnesium rich anthophyllite is optically negative, whereas iron rich anthophyllite is optically positive. Cumming tonite and grunerite are monoclinic amphiboles, which are the end members of the Cumming tonite grunerite series. They show characteristics of multiple twinning and coming tonight is optically positive but iron rich grunerite is optically negative. Another amphibole series is the tremolite actinolite series whose end members are shown here. They are formed from the metamorphism of siliceous dolomites where tremolite forms early on by reaction between dolomite and quartz. On blends are also monoclinic calcic amphiboles and they have a complex and highly variable chemistry. On blends occur as a primary mineral in acids and intermediate igneous rocks. They are also common in the metamorphic rocks derived from these igneous rocks as in hornblende knife, hornblende swiss and amphibolite. Another amphibole, glaucophane of the glaucophane rebecaite series is an alkali amphibole and glaucophane is the iron poor end member of the series. Coming to occurrences of amphiboles, they are also found in igneous rocks and form when pyroxene reacts with the melts as the temperature lowers. Amphiboles occur in felsic and intermediate igneous rocks, but they are also found in metamorphic rocks. There are also various differences between pyroxenes and amphiboles, which help us to primarily distinguish them in hand specimen as well as when they are under the microscope. Both the cleavage and prism angles in amphiboles is 124 degrees, whereas in pyroxenes it is 87 degrees. Bladed mineral form is common in amphiboles, whereas it is not so common in pyroxenes. Amphiboles are pleochroic, which means they will change color upon rotation in the microscope, whereas pyroxenes are non pleochroic. The traverse section of the amphiboles is six sided, whereas it is eight sided in pyroxenes. And finally, while examining the minerals under microscope, the extinction angles of amphiboles is 16 degrees, whereas pyroxenes have an extension angle of 48 degrees. This ends this presentation.